Hello, my name's Keith from StarTech.com. Today, we'd like to speak about some of the most frequent issues that our customers experience with KVM switches and the most common steps used to resolve them. These will include only a single port working on the KVM switch, USB device issues, and hotkey issues. Resetting a KVM switch resolves several issues you may experience and is easy to perform. To reset a KVM switch, turn off all connected computers and displays and unplug all cables and the power adapter. Allow the KVM switch to sit for five seconds and then complete the following. Step one, connect the power adapter to the KVM switch if needed. Step two, Connect the video cable from your display to the console video port. Step 3. Turn on the display or displays. Step 4. Connect your keyboard and mouse to the console PS2 or USB ports. Step 5. If the KVM switch is not focused on port 1, change the KVM switch to focus on port 1. Step 6. Connect the video cable or cables from PC1 to the KVM switch. Step 7. Connect the PS2 or USB cables from PC1 to the PC1, PS2 or USB ports. Step 8. Turn on PC1. You should see the computer load the operating system that you're using on PC1. Step 9. Make sure the mouse and keyboard can control PC1. Step 10. Repeat steps 6 to 9 for each additional computer you wish to connect to the KVM switch, changing the focus of the KVM switch to the port the computer is connected to. Leave the computer in focus on the KVM switch until you complete step 9, ensuring that the mouse and keyboard work with the computer. If you are experiencing issues with USB devices, complete the following. Test with a second USB port on the back of the affected computer. Test with different USB devices. For example, if you're experiencing issues with your USB mouse, try another USB mouse. Some KVM switches support the use of hotkeys. For more information on how to use hotkeys on your specific KVM switch, consult the manual. Here is what you should know about hotkeys. The leading hotkey can often be changed between Control, Alt, and Scroll Lock. Hotkeys can allow for KVM switch settings to be changed. If your KVM switch isn't reacting the way you expect it to, check that a setting hasn't been changed or try resetting the KVM hotkey settings. Wireless, gaming, or combo keyboards may cause the KVM switch to not recognize your hotkeys. Try switching to a basic keyboard if you're experiencing this issue. In order to confirm which specific part of a KVM solution is causing you an issue, you need to eliminate what is working properly. If one USB device, port, or computer is not working properly, complete the following. Step 1. 
Switch the cables on the back of the KVM switch, but do not switch which computer is plugged into which port. If the issue moved with the cables, something is likely wrong with the cables. Step 2. Switch which computer is plugged into each port, but do not switch the cables. If the issue moved with the computer, something is likely wrong with the computer. If possible, try another video, audio, or USB port on the computer, or try a different computer entirely. Step 3. If you have an additional KVM switch, move the cables and computers over to the second KVM switch. If the issue no longer persists, something is likely wrong with the first KVM switch. If at this point you continue to experience issues with your StarTech.com KVM switch, please contact our technical support team for further assistance. Thanks for watching. My name's Keith from StarTech.com. Hard to find, made easy.